With a spear-shaped nose, built-in whip, and razor-sharp bear claws, this creature may just be OP. Hello, my name is Jeff, and today on Laugh Pack, we are introducing you to the Ant Bear, otherwise known as the Giant Ant Eater. Now, although the Giant Ant Bear is a great name, the name Giant Ant Eater is more accurate to what these creatures are. They're large, and they eat ants. Kind of on the nose, isn't it? In fact, giant anteaters are the largest species of anteater. They can grow up to between 6 and 8 feet from nose to tail, and weigh anywhere from 55 to 100 pounds. And unlike many other animals, males and females are roughly the same size. They are found in the grasslands and rainforests of Central and South America, with Brazil being their base of operations. And these bad boys are tough. They even have a move that will make a jaguar tuck tail and run. But before I tell you what that move is, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because it really does help the channel out. Now let's dive into the fact ant hill with these ant eaters. Number one, smell. An ant eater snout can smell 40 times better than a human's nose. Their heightened sense of smell is a huge help since anteaters don't have the best hearing or the best eyesight. Not only can they smell from great distances, but anteaters use their noses to identify different termite and ant species before they rip open the nest. It's almost as if they're trying to decide what bug flavor they want to dine on that night. Number two, pregnancy. An anteater can pause pregnancy. The anteater can take a fertilized egg and store it for later use. The egg remains in the anteater's uterus until the environmental conditions are perfect for implanting and developing. When it's time to give birth, these ladies choose to deliver in an upright position, using their tails for support. They have only one baby at a time, and these newborns are called pups. Until they are strong enough to walk on their own, these pups will ride on their mother's back. Number three, tongue. An anteater's tongue is the perfect tool for gathering food. They are not only covered in small, spiny-like hooks, but they also have a thick, sticky saliva coating, which is great for grabbing bugs. The shape and design allows the anteater to maneuver its tongue down into the narrow spaces where ants and termites burrow. What the what? An anteater's long rope of a tongue is attached to the sternum, and can flick in and out of its mouth up to 150 times per minute. Now you might be able to stick your tongue out 150 times per minute, but try doing that with a tongue that is as long as your arm. Mm -mm. Number four, no teeth. In scientific terms, an animal with no teeth at all is known as an edentate. Some animals that fit into this category are sloths, armadillos, anteaters, and my Uncle Lou, but that's for a completely different reason. Not sure how Uncle Lou does it, but an anteater's lack of teeth doesn't seem to pose any problems for these furry critters, as their tongues and claws do all the work when it comes to foraging. Their long noses also aid the tongue by working like a vacuum, to hold on to the insects and inhale them with a sucking motion. Also, because they dine on ants and termites, there's no need for teeth as there's no real tough meat to chew or bite. But they do use their tongue to crush the insects against the roof of their mouth. So the anteater isn't necessarily chewing, but they're also not, not crushing their food. Oh, and here's something crazy. Giant anteaters don't produce their own stomach acid. No, instead they rely on the acid found in the bugs that they eat to help them digest the bugs that they eat. So in other words, they use ants to help them eat ants. Number five, diet. Unlike their small cousins, who can eat eggs and even fruit, giant anteaters feed almost exclusively on ants and termites. That being said, they aren't against eating other bugs like beetles and bee larvae from time to time. In total, they consume about 30,000 insects a day, which is an impressive seven pounds of an insect salad. Number six, claws. Though they have four feet, only the forefront toes have claws on them that can grow up to four inches long. 
Something that an anteater does that is not only very cool, but also very helpful, is that when walking, anteaters curl their feet into fist-like balls. This not only makes them look like they're imitating King Kong, That's not Kong. But it also keeps the claws protected and prevents these built-in blades from dulling. Along with their cleverly designed tongues, anteaters use their razor-sharp claws for many purposes. These claws are incredibly sharp and very dangerous. They are the animal's best defense against attacks. Which leads me to... Number 7. Fighting Normally, giant anteaters are not aggressive when they encounter one another. They usually ignore each other or run away. But when threatened, they are fierce fighters. So much so that even jaguars will decide to stand down when necessary. Even though big cats like pumas and jaguars are an anteater's main predators. When in danger, anteaters stand their ground on their hind legs. They use their tail for balance, and they keep their arms straight out at both sides, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Like we said, anteaters use their claws to break open insect nests in both logs and tough gravel to get the food inside. So you can imagine what those tough, strong, sharp claws can do against an anteater's enemy. In English, the word anteater refers to an animal that eats ants. It's not rocket science. In Spanish, though, the word for anteater is oso hormiguero, which translates to the name ant bear we brought up at the beginning of the show. No, I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. The name reflects the animal's diet and its resemblance to a bear, which makes sense now that we've watched them walk around with those massive shoulder muscles. No wonder that jaguar chose to just walk away. But what do you think? Are these anteaters intimidating? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.